Hey guys, I'm Wilson. And I'm Kelly. And, and we, we are on, on the move. move. We've got a uh, new video here for you, and we've got our top five things to do in Kentucky. So if you're looking for some stuff to do maybe this summer or whenever you're watching this video, mm -hmm. uh, and you're interested in Kentucky, Kentucky really has a lot to offer. And this is mainly for the central area of Kentucky, probably. Yeah. Because um, Kentucky has a lot of different areas that you can explore, so we would say maybe five in Central Kentucky. Yeah, good idea. Top five things in Central Kentucky <laughs> to do. All right, let's start with number five here on our list. That's Frankfort, Kentucky. So Frankfort is a pretty cool city. To me, it's uh, it's a little modernized. There's there's a lot of shops downtown. Great ice cream shop on yes. the corner downtown. <laughs> um, you can go tour the old Capitol, which is kind of neat. Walk around, see some of the history in Frankfort. It is a pretty progressive town. Um, lots of changes that have happened there. Mm -hmm. they've, they've made a lot of progress as far as upgrading buildings and really trying to modernize the downtown area. It's a pretty, lot of arts. Yeah, too. it's a real artsy district. Mm -hmm. So those of you who really super like that stuff, you're going to have a blast in downtown Frankfurt. All right, number four would be the Kentucky Horse Park in Lexington, Kentucky. That is a horse lover's playground yep. where you can get up close and personal with all kinds of horses um, even champions of the Kentucky Derby there I didn't even know there were that many horse breeds, variety, yeah. breeds mm -hmm. whatever you know so really cool place to see not, not only do they have the barns they also have museums where they talk about the history of the horse and how mm -hmm. it has impacted um, all through history mm -hmm. as well as um, a museum for like the the history of the championship the Kentucky Derby the racing that part so there's like two museums there so you can go all over the grounds it's pretty mm -hmm. wide open uh, they have um, like a wagon ride or uh, that you can kind of take around if you want to a trail ride mm -hmm. yep and you can do all kinds of things there so you can spend the day we spent July 4th there yeah uh, that was kind of a neat experience so um, they also have a campground on the grounds there so if you're camping that's a great place I've heard mm -hmm. to camp as well yeah. As you all know, during this t summer trip, I was um, a little less mobile um, with crutches and my torn ACL. So one of the things that was a plus for me there, because the grounds are huge, so I was a little concerned about walking around, but I did want to go. Um, but they offered me a free wheelchair, and the kids had a blast pushing me around. But <sighs> the kids rolling you around, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Oh, they play me like a video game. I'm telling you, <laughs> they're trying to make you drift and everything. <laughs> Grand Theft Mama in the and wheelchair. Drops and stuff over the head. Right. <laughs> Mom leans back at this when I try to get out over the <laughs> jump thing. Oh my goodness. So I would say this is totally accessible and it's free. So that is a plus for this stop. Mm -hmm. So great stop. Must do to see all the horses. Right on I 75. Yeah, right too. I mean, it, it. it's mm -hmm. an easy on and off stop. Yeah. Um, plan to spend at least half a day there if yeah. you want to see. Some of the shows, you know, mm -hmm. you can easily spend all day there if you choose to. Yep. Great stop. All right, number three on our list of must-dos in Central Kentucky is visit a distillery. Distilleries are pretty cool. You know, you don't have to be a drinker or anything to visit. It's just the art of uh, making, you know, bourbon. There's so many bourbon makers <laughs> They're around. They're famous for the bourbon trail. Yeah, the bourbon <laughs> trail's there, but there's just so many yeah. cool places to go. We chose to go to two just to see kind of a difference, we went to Woodford Reserve, which is a pretty large distillery, and that was a neat tour, very oh, yeah. historic. Yeah. That was a beautiful, also beautiful grounds, again, very classic Kentucky, um, very historic. It's been around for a long time. Um, our tour guide did a great job, so if you really want like a good taste of bourbon um, history and kind of the Kentucky feel, that's a great place to stop. Yeah, it really was, right mm -hmm. in the middle of yeah. a bunch of horse farms yeah. and you know, beautiful. beautiful and then the other one we went to was a small distillery called three boys distillery mm -hmm. and if you want that real you know like up close personal field go to something like that mm -hmm. and then you support small businesses as well um, again you don't have to drink right. you know just seeing the tour is a pretty cool thing to do mm -hmm. you know that that was interesting I've always been interested <laughs> in stories about moonshiners and just that alcohol making process and it was neat to experience that and then smell all the smells. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, if we had smell of vision, we could put that smell out there to it's you. Fermenting. Yeah, and, and as, as the corn was fermenting, yeah. you could just smell these banana smells tropical. and tropical yeah. smells. It was really cool. For that to come into the bourbon was really neat. Yeah, yeah it's all the science behind mm -hmm. it. 
So lots of good things to learn, and um, I, you don't have to. You don't have to drink. You don't have to do anything. But and I think the kids can go as long as you know they're obviously not drinking. But <laughs> but I think they can go for the historic tours for all of these. So neat stop. Right, number two. It's kind of a combo, and a lot of people think of this one as a combo stop. Um, it's the Ark Experience, no, the Ark Encounter, and the Creation Museum. Um, they are not connected. A lot of people think they're close by each other, but they're about 45 minutes apart. Um, the Creation Museum is closer to Cincinnati. The Ark is more closer to Lexington than that area. Mm -hmm. So they're within reasonable drive, but they are worth the stop for sure and, and the visit. The Ark, when we got there, and you can see it from the road, that was amazing. Yeah, um, it really is. It, it just brings, you know, it, the whole purpose of it um, being designed by Ken Ham and his mm -hmm. his crew was just to make it come to life, to allow you to see, you know, the reality of what could have been and what mm -hmm. existed. And the Ark is just, it, it's amazing. You can't get over how, the size of it, mm -hmm. how it's constructed, full-scale version yeah. Um, and they had, and basically, you know, you got to see kind of what the interpretation of of how they managed all of what they did inside the ark with Noah and his family. Um, it was amazing. Not what I expected to see how they watered the animals, fed the animals, and took care of them. Yeah, there was a system for yeah. everything. The cisterns that they used yeah. for collecting water and how they watered the animals. It just makes you look at it and go, wow. Yeah. So. Yeah. There was a way that they could have done all. It wasn't this. just animals piled onto a boat, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, <laughs> this is what we envision, you know. <laughs> um, so it was that was definitely a good stop, and I think that everybody should experience that, no matter kind of what who you are, you yeah. know, in your beliefs. Whatever you believe, things. it's yeah. worth going and to seeing, see. yeah. and just uh, you know experiencing that. Mm -hmm. Creation Museum this is, is also very pretty great. phenomenal yeah. too, mm -hmm. and you're going to need a good. Half day for there? For both, yeah. Oh, half day for each, probably. Yeah, probably like, half day each. You could almost spend the whole day at the Ark yeah. itself because there's they other, have other stuff. things. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can do um, the zip, line. zip line, and there's an animal farm, mm -hmm. and they're adding a whole bunch of new exhibits, new things to do this coming year. They're I will, expanding. I will say that you, you basically ride a bus up to it, and so it's almost more of like a I don't want to say a theme park, but kind of like that. It had a little bit of that kind of feel. Mm -hmm. um, take a shuttle bus up to it and get out and go around to, to the grounds. The Creation Museum felt more like a museum. It had mm -hmm. a, a beautiful grounds, gardens. They had a huge playground. It was way too hot for us to play on. Um, but mm -hmm. there was there was other things there, but it did feel more like a museum and gardens. That so, nice theater mm -hmm. with, a, with a video uh, for you to check IMAX. out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, IMAX video. And then they also had um, just a ton of historical exhibits, mm -hmm. fossils, tons of stuff. Lots, lots of stuff to learn. It, if you read everything, you're going to need at least a day oh yeah, oh yeah. to get through. There's lots of reading. Um, our kids did fine. Um, younger kids, a lot of people think the art would be something for younger kids. I'm, I'm going to say probably not because there's so much reading to understand what's going on inside. The petting zoo was nice for the younger ones, but to actually... Pay the money and see the ARC. I think they do need to be a little older and able to read and have some attention span to go yep. through it. Um, because it's three stories and, you know, it's, got, a, lot it's a, lot of of, a lot of walking, a lot of reading. Um, so all of that, both of those exhibits, um, I mean, museums are kind of like that. So I would recommend probably eight years old or older would probably do really well there. Mm -hmm. um, the younger ones would probably have a hard time and be ready to leave in about 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, so just a, just a tip. You might think otherwise, but I think that's a, that's a that's a good realization of that place. The Ark Encounter and the Creation Museum are two awesome places to visit, though. <laughs> Number one on our list of things to do in Central Kentucky, Mammoth Cave. Now, Kelly kind of got left out of this one, unfortunately. She had booked a tour for us. She's very sweet. <laughs> and uh, I planned on being on this. <laughs> yeah, we, we had planned on that. But after she tore her ACL over in Hawaii... And she wasn't yeah. able to do this because it's not really handicap accessible. There is one, though, but it was totally booked by the time all this happened and we had to change up our reservation. So I think there is one handicap accessible one um, that you could go on. So. Yeah, but there's a lot of stairs to go down into the cave. And so you can check out the museum and everything. The museum's up top. Mm -hmm. There's a nice little exhibit to walk through. That's but then idea. going <laughs> into the cave was super cool. Yeah. And you know, caves are caves, but this one is massive. And we've been in quite a few. 
Make sure that you reserve a tour ahead of time, though. That's key. Um, go ahead and reserve. Get that taken care of. Mm -hmm. How far out in advance should they do that? I think that opens up. It, it has the delayed re release, so I think it was no more than maybe three to six months. I don't think mm -hmm. they have it that far out for you to, I had to kind of wait on that one. So. Yeah. And national parks are changing the way they're mm -hmm. doing things, so you probably want to pay attention. Just check just... the website mm -hmm. um, because they are changing things yep. pretty frequently right now. Choose the right walking tour for you because mm -hmm. it is all walking once you get down into the cave. Mm -hmm. um, you want to do the one that you like and that you're going to learn the most from. We did about a 45 minute cave tour and it was really neat. We saw the kind of the highlights of everything. Really nice national park to go into yeah. and they had a great great um picnic area all around that area mm -hmm. there's some places to picnic there's trails hiking trails for you to do not yeah. just in the cave yep. so te definitely check off that national park that's a that's an easy one to get to mm -hmm. uh, especially in the south mm -hmm. <laughs> we hope you enjoyed this video and hope it helps you plan a trip to kentucky and we will see you guys next time out on the muse